Let's keep it rolling. Everything looked and sounded good. I was auto-conveyed up here. I want to head back down to the room I was in. I'll never get out of this place. <sighs> you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Lip was clipping a bit there. Uh. Anyway. He went in here. And he's gone. For those who enjoy no hassle travel, Bruno, you and one of these must have picked them up already. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. Hmm. It's a nasty chemical puddle. Ugh, that smell. It's a lump of our packing foam. Hmm. You don't say. This balloon is filled with a dark chemical. Quicker way for me to change active object. Delete. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. What's going on over here? This door is open. It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. Warning, fire system, do not touch. I'll take that, never know when we might need that. It's all recording properly, good. All right, I have a plan. open. Mm-hmm. You. You did this to me. Those pictures come with the frames? That suit come with those holes. It's Domino Hurley, the sweatiest man in the office. You gotta sweat the cell, Callie, and you know it. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, 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 Callie, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? I got a mean midget I had to send parcel post. Ah, cheer up, buddy. Another day, another death. Am I right? Well, see you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. Let's... Let's... He wants the satisfaction. Not gonna... Not gonna give it to him. After he fucked over my driver. Hmm. 
Grab this one. That's the bread, Grimoth. Let's not grab that one. <laughs> not using my bread. Hmm. Looks like the filled balloons got set to the end of my inventory instead of the positions they were in. That's fine. <laughs> Look out below. Seems awfully rude of me. But here we are. That doesn't sound good. It's fine, I'm sure. Everything's fine. Server's down again. What else is new? What else is new indeed? I'm not gonna bother chatting with her. We got work to do. Work, wink. Hey bud. Cheerful communications maintenance staff is on the job. Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. So how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. Just curious, how'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Can I squeeze in there, just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire, fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. Okay. Well, I gotta split. Yeah. Not again! Ah, 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 ah. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here! What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste! Oh. Well, that's interesting knowledge. The deadbolt looks like it's not set. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. Well, I think my work here is done. Good enough for government work. Uh... 
There we go. That wheel should open it. It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. I couldn't play this card there. Here we go. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah, 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 died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, yada, yada. Aha, positive attributes, volunteered time, reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. <laughs> Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche, I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. <laughs> Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh, no. I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me. But I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble. But please, call me Manny. Well, this is awkward. She looks fine to me. I uh, gotta go uh, talk to upper management here. I am so boned. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Oh boy. Hey, uh... Hey, Funny Bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. 
You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine! Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino! That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double-end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it! And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there! On her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected! This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve! Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Well, don't think that worked out, Manny. Hey, is anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. That's it. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man. You are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. Okay. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a Reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears unprotected and alone like babies manuel like babies what's your evidence that's where you come in manuel or should i call you agent calavera manny suits me fine i'm not looking to join any military organization sal i just want my job back so i can work off my time and get out of this dump well you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. Well, damn. It's a slide projector. Manuel, I was looking at that. <laughs> Where does this go? To a secret tunnel out of the city. But it opens for members of the LSA only. No. This computer shut off. We salvaged that unit when the company threw it away. But we have yet to get it working. When we do, we'll need you to get us into the system. I'll be long gone before then. We'll see, Manuel. I don't get it. Nor do I, Manuel. Not yet. I don't get it, nor do Salvador seems to be concentrating. Okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. 
If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. Uh. <laughs> You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Okay. I'm off. Farewell, Agent Calavera. And viva la revolucion! It's my boss's secretary's evil twin. Just me, honey. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? <laughs> and how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? <laughs> that was good leaning. How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! All right. Very good. I'm moment. off. Fight the good fight, babe. <laughs> well, I'm convinced. Okay. This is open now. Wonder what happened to our driver, Link. You okay over here, buddy? No, this is the this hey, is the shit. What did they do with Gladys? Gladys? Yeah, what did they do with Gladys? It looks like it dispenses something called Philodent. Ooh, ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell. I think it's auto body filler. Hmm. Okay. Can I mess with his tools while he's good? locked. Okay. Maybe something changed on the. I was gonna say roof. On that ledge there. They're both in the boss's office. Maybe a. Uh... Dom left his window open? Since I apparently have to get some pigeon eggs, as one does. It's locked. Yeah, that's changed now. Hmm. Uh huh. There's nobody in Domino's office. He did leave the window open this time. Okay. He doesn't even hide his booze in a file cabinet. What kind of salesman is he? Cheap paper mill diplomas. I'm gonna try to guess his password. Nope. It's not Golden Boy. I'm gonna try to... It's not Mr. D either. Unbelievable. What's in here? Desk drawers? I don't have desk drawers. What the? There's something glowing in there. Take it. It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. Well, that's good. Put that away. And put that away. Jock. Boop. Dom's mouthpiece is up there. It's Domino's mouthpiece. Take it. Ugh, 
Domino had this in his mouth. He sure did. Well, I got some ideas with that. Get out of here, Manny. Congratulations, Domino, on your new job. Hector. It's a fucking grappling. It's a, it's a, it's a grappling hook. It's crap. It's Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? Let's make a grappling hook. We have the technology. I wonder if that's how Domino meant it to be used. Cross on over. You only live once, Manny, and your time's up. Hope you're not acrophobic. Keep going. Manny's walking at his own speed. I have no control over that. There's the eggs. I don't like the looks of those pigeons. Ah, the pigeons obviously like this dish vent. Okay, new idea. I'm gonna get some more bread. I prefer to eat out of clean dishes that aren't nailed to the roof. But why don't we put in this? Maybe and that will scare them. Eventually. Go get some bread again. One moment, birds. Be with you in a second. One whole sec. We go get another loaf. Bread of the dead. I just take a little more bread to honor the dead. Get back up there, man. We're getting a workout for the muscles that you don't have. Don't worry about it. Fortunately, uh, no amount of key pressing is getting me to speed up some of these animations. If you could... could. Manny, please. Manny? Manny, please. <laughs> Manny. <laughs> you don't need to do your slow walk up here again. Alright, let's go ahead and throw down a save. So, in case this is wrong, I don't have to make that track all the way over again. That was not exactly pleasurable. But, 
I've endured worse things in video games. Here, I got some more bread for you. The first loaf was to establish to them a trustworthy sort who'd feed them. That's what it was. Yes. That was it, huh? Yeah, beat it, you lousy little ledge pickers. All right. That's all it took. So that's where the vermin come from. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. <laughs> I need to grab any more, right? We're good? Man, are those pigeons gonna be ticked. All right. I'm glad that uh, balloon... Uh, Hannibal could chase off all of those pigeons. Problem solved. We didn't need Robert Frost after all. I mean, maybe we still do. Let's not be hasty here. Don't want to dismiss Robert Frost just yet. Agent Calavera and two guests. Those eggs were hovering. Here's your eggs. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you, Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom has its price. That doesn't seem reasonable. Come on, man. I'm off. There we Viva la revolución! Well then, fine. And he just looks at the light. Sad, forlorn. Next time. We see what comes of that. I guess.